So in this video, I want to talk about something that happened to me about 10 years ago, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, and made probably one of the biggest shifts in my life I've ever had. You see, I got a test result from my doctor that showed that most of my hormones are crashed. My testosterone, which has a huge effect on your sex drive. I had no sex drive at the time. My uh, thyroid, which has a huge effect on your energy, probably also your, your, uh, um, your sex drive, if <laughs> your energy's crashed, right? Your nanolone, progesterone, all these are hormones that, that just were leaving me feeling like crap. I didn't wake up ready to go. I wanted to sleep most mornings. I was tired, I was beat, I was foggy headed, and I was using lots of caffeine to push my way through the day. Now, what I've noticed is that a lot of clients come to me, and if these, and if they're, especially their, their testosterone's off, a lot of their drive to go meet women kind of dies. And a lot of the drive to go to the work kind of dies and their drive to get out of bed and push themselves it kind of dies so this can be a huge step for you in radically shifting your life so i want to cover four areas i'm by no means an expert in all these areas and i highly recommend you talk to professionals to understand this better but this is just kind of what i did and it radically shifted my life and really cleaned up my blood test cleaned up the way i felt cleaned up my focus my ability to think and it all, I'm all still getting benefits from it today. The first thing I did is that uh, I started revealing a lot. I started doing lots of, once I realized my hormones were off, I had a, this heaviness in my body, this fatigue. And I realized that I had a lot of negative mental images around food. You see, my grandma, uh, she was a really heavy set woman. She was diabetic. She was uh, constantly eating food to feel better. My mom was constantly giving me food to feel better, and I was constantly using food as a therapeutic tool. And when I took it away, I'd feel really depressed, sad, and heavy. So I knew I had a lot of negative stories about food in my life. Food was kind of a love for me, and it was time to make a change in that area. It was time to make a huge change. So I went radical and I went pure carnivore. I had been vegetarian before, didn't feel good on vegetarian, so this time I decided to go pure carnivore. I'd, I'd worked my way up, I went paleo, then I went keto right away, and then eventually I just went pure carnivore. And that carnivore diet was huge. Yes, I was on the toilet a lot for a month, but as I started to get all those other foods out of my system and that, and that crappy energy started to leave me, I started to feel a lot better. Why was that? Because a lot of inflammation went down. I was having a lot of autoimmune disorders, and now I know from looking at my DNA, having it run through a computer, that I'm prone to autoimmune disorders. I had a lot of autoimmune disorders, and a lot of different foods were really bothering me, and uh, it was just time to cut them all out and start over. And so within a month, two months, three months, I began to feel a lot better. Now I did that for about two years. It didn't clean up everything. It helped a lot, but I still had a lot of stuff going on. You see on my blood report, I was also pre-diabetic or uh, insulin resistant, I should probably say. And I knew there was something causing that. So once I cleaned up my diet with the carnivore diet for the most part, I started to take a deeper look at this. I said, I want to have a lot of energy when I wake up in the morning. I want to have energy for life. I want to wake up with, uh, I want to build more muscle. And I was having trouble building muscle. I had gone on a ski trip to Chile with my buddies and I was tired the whole time. Didn't even want to be there. I just wanted to sit around. They were up running up the mountain every day, getting up early and I just wanted to sleep in. And so I realized I was missing out on a huge part of life. I was missing out on the fun of, of going out and having these adventures. I didn't have any turn on. I didn't have a sex drive. I didn't have any energy. And oh, and one more thing, my thyroid was really low on the blood report. So. So the blood report showed my thyroid was low, my testosterone was low, my brunanolone was low, my progesterone was low, all these things were low. So uh, quickly I got off the TRT because I wasn't seeing a result. I didn't feel a boost in the gym. So I knew there was something greater going on. I, I still believe that has to do with something else I'm about to talk about and my autoimmune disorders. So the first thing, like I said earlier, was the diet. I cleaned up the diet and I went pure carnivore. Some of you may not want to do that. Uh, some of you may want to go keto, whatever works for you. Really take a look, talk to professionals, talk to people that know this area. I'm not a professional. This is not advice. This is just what I did and take a deeper look at it. And uh, so I started to do that. The other thing I started to look and do a lot of research on the thyroid because I knew the thyroid had a lot to do with energy. And I started to discover something called Lula's iodine and high dose iodine therapy. This is one I definitely recommend you talk to professionals that understand this and get blood tests to have it checked out. But for me, I was, I was ready to, to do something. And I read a book called Iodine Crisis by Lynn Farrell. So I started supplementing uh, Lugol's iodine. And boy, did that have an effect. When I reached a certain amount, my God, it was like a light bulb went on in my head. I was, still wasn't perfect, but I felt way better. I started to be able to focus. I started to be able to think. I realized my body had been very low in iodine, but was not absorbing the iodine well. Uh, something that I read in one of the books, or I think it was an iodine crisis, talked about iodine sim porters might not be working well. And so I started to think maybe it's my iodine sim porters. I don't know to this day, but I know the iodine made a huge difference. And so once the iodine went up, I started to get really nervous and jittery. I started to have 
all this jitteriness. And so I went to the doctor and she took a look at my uh, panels and she said, cut your thyroid out. She said, your thyroid, your, you don't need thyroid anymore. She says, this iodine is actually what you need. And, and so I just switched. I went to pure iodine and I took the thyroid out and I felt way better than on the thyroid alone. So I was really surprised by that. The next thing I started to do, so I have diet, I started to look at iodine and I said, okay, what else could be going on inside of me, keeping my uh, testosterone low, my sex drive low, my energy low. And I did a little research and that's when I came across Mark Iron. And Mark Iron's book was really complex, but I started to read it, I started to dig through it. And I immediately fell in love with his ideas and his work. He has all these, what he calls levers that you pull that uh, as he calls them levers, these are things you can pull to really improve the hormone balance. He talks a lot about the hormone balance in your body. When you get those hormones straightened out, which is the problem I had, all my hormones are crashed, you start to feel so much better. You start to feel more alive. You start to feel more awake. You wake up in the morning ready to attack the day. But if your hormones are out of balance, you're going to feel horrible. That's exactly what I was feeling. I was like, oh my God, this guy's nailing it. So I started to learn more from Mark and I started to really study Paul Saladino a lot. And uh, I started to learn more about a couple different things. One of them being the, uh, and this is the next phase, it's kind of detoxing. One of them being chemicals that get stuck in the body, bromide, bromine, everything that goes in the category of what turns out, and I'm not the scientist on this, but is, is in the same category as iodine. So when the iodine's not there, these chemicals will go in and take the place of the iodine and take and sit on the, I guess it's the, uh, attached to the cell in a place where the iodine would attach. Some of you that are more medically inclined can talk about this, or you can go check out Mark's channel. So he said, uh, you probably need to do a lot of detox and cleansing. So he recommended hot sauna. So I started doing a uh, 30 minute hot saunas two, three times a week with infrared. I started adding th infrared and, and, uh, and I was in there sweating up a storm and uh, really working to clean out my cells. Another thing that I learned uh, was that cold therapy can have a huge, so I started doing cold therapy every once in a while. And that was just cold plunges, nothing too crazy. It'd sit in a uh, cold tub or take a cold shower. And the third thing was uh, cleaning up the omega-3 to omega-6 balance in the body because that can make you pre-diabetic. I learned that from Paul Saladino and from Mark. That when the body gets too much um, omega-6, we're not supposed to have like, in, in modern society, we can have 10, 20, 30, 40 to one omega-6 to, to omega-3. And it's supposed to be closer to a one to one. And we're getting a lot of this from seed oils like, canola oil, which is in everything, and all the other oils that go with that. Not counting like olive oil, that's a little different, but you're like peanut oil, and and uh, I think there's a grapeseed oil, but all these different oils they used to bake stuff with. And so I said, okay, I'll cut those out. And then I learned from Paul Saladino that you can start adding a lot of stearic acid, which comes from kidney fat, in. So I started buying stearic acid, mixing it into ghee, and putting it in all my food. And, uh, and started to have this uh, pump stearic acid in the body while taking out all the canola oil while doing the hot saunas to really get the cells back in balance in my body to get all the inflammation out. Uh, at the same time, I also had a test done. It's just a simple blood test to test my omega-3s to omega-6s. I had that test done after I had been working on this for a while and I was in the yellow at that time, a high yellow. I know I had been previously in the red and I needed to get down to the green. And as that started to come down towards the green, yes, I started to feel way better. That was a huge piece, I believe, as to why I had so much inflammation, why I was so tired, why I was so fatigued, and why the hormones are off. So in the next phase, I began the detox. I'm gonna re, uh, recover this. I started to rebalance my omega-3s to omega-6. I started to get all the chemicals out of the body, all this through particularly saunas and through cutting the seed oils out and bringing in more stearic acid to help heal the body, to help nurture the body. And that was the next phase for me. Now I got one more bonus that I'm gonna add at the end of this if you stay to the end. So make sure to stay to the end. Um, but before I do that, I wanna invite you to uh, like, subscribe, and share. Make sure to like so you don't miss any of the context. I'm gonna keep trying to bring you better and better content to really change your life and give you the best life possible as a man. So make sure to like now so you don't miss any of the great content that's gonna be coming out. And like I said, I have one more bonus thing I've been doing recently that I think is huge and has really helped me to shift my life. So, uh, and it goes in kind of in the detox energy level, but we'll get down to that. So the next phase I started to do was to uh, get into the gym. I started to lift heavy things. I started to do deadlifts. I started to do squats. I started to do bench press. I started to sprint. Things that would boost my testosterone naturally. Your testosterone is going to come up the more you get the omega-3s to omega-6 in balance, the more you get the uh, toxins out of the body through the saunas. 
Um, these are all huge and drinking tons of water, cleansing the body. I started adding salt to my water. I was eating carnivore. Uh, I was, you know, eating internal organs. So all this stuff was going on. And then the next phase that was huge was I started lifting heavy things, squats, deadlifts, all kinds of stuff like that. And uh, I particularly started doing it with, uh, with uh, the X3 bar. If you guys know what that is, you can look that up. It's with these bands and stuff, but I go to the gym too. I just really began to slowly enjoy lifting. I didn't push it all at once. I took my time with it. I began to learn to build a relationship for the weights. And this is huge. It's something that Mark Iron talks about that I think is really huge that I had missed in the past when I was lifting weights. So now as I started to feel better, I started to have energy. I started that the weightlifting becomes huge for building this testosterone. So in the weightlifting, I began to look for several things. Instead of going down and trying to immediately get bigger, I started to build, a, like I said, a relationship with the weights. So how did I do that? Number one, I started to lift light and I started to focus on mind-body connection. I started to work on really feeling all the muscles activate. If I was doing a bench press, I wanna feel all of this work and in the resistance, I want to be able to really feel these muscles activate, active resistance. I want to be able to have a, a clear, not be in a headphones, not thinking, but have a clear relationship to the experience I'm having. In a sense, learn to talk to my body, have my body learn to talk to me. So that's why I lift light weights at first, so I could really learn to feel those muscles activate. And I started to lift light weights, and then I started to work time under tension. I started to really work the negatives. In the past, I would just pound weights out, I'd be distracted. But now I was like, I'm going to turn weightlifting into a meditative process. So that was the next phase. Time under tension means on the negatives, I would come down sometimes three seconds, four seconds. I would try six seconds. And I would really learn to understand the relationship of the weight. And I'd often go lighter weight so I could really build that relationship. Every once in a while, I'd go heavier weight. Sometimes I explode up and go down slow. Sometimes I go slow up and slow down. And all of this was done with a very simple intent or a very simple purpose. One, I was trying to create metabolic damage, so I'm looking for the burn. I'm looking to end my workout sets with burn. I'm looking for time under tension. I'm looking to have a good amount of time where I'm taking my time and I'm working with it. I'm looking for that mind-body connection. Do I feel all the, not just time under tension, but do I feel all the muscles working? Do I have to, if I tweak just a little bit this way or this way, do I feel more muscles working? So it's, so I'm really becoming one with the workout. Another thing I did that I don't know anybody else that ever does this, but it's worked for me so far and I very much enjoy it, is I stopped counting reps. Now, I don't recommend this for everybody. It depends on you and your mind. I focused more on the feeling and feeling like I got a good burn, good metabolic damage. Like I feel like I, I worked it just enough where it's going to hurt, but I'm going to have energy from it. That I built a really good relationship. I learned more about my body and then I went on for the day and I rated my growth in two simple ways. I rated my growth in, is my body changing? I look at it about once a month. Do I have energy every day when I'm done? Do I have energy the next day or am I completely exhausted? And then uh, and then maybe once a month, I would test myself against, okay, how many push-ups could I do a month ago versus how many push-ups could I do now? How many bench, how many, what's my personal best on bench press for, versus a month ago or a week ago or two weeks ago, however long you wanna check that out. But other than that, I got really involved in the moment with the weights. And that was huge for me because I was always in the future racing, wanting to get somewhere versus learning to enjoy the process. After that, exercise started to become this fun thing that I love to do. I don't know if that'll work for everybody, but that was huge for me. Now, understanding this, especially the squats, the deadlifts, things like this, those all start to build testosterone in your body. Those are huge. And so start to really welcome that too. So if we recap, there's a four step process that I talked about with, with a bonus process that we're gonna talk about here. Actually two, there's gonna be two bonuses in the bonus process today. Number one is mindset. Number two is the detox. I was bringing in the iodine, which is pumping out the chemicals and helping to feed the thyroid. And that's me. I'm not saying that's you. I don't think everybody needs iodine and I think you should definitely consult your doctor on it, but that was me. Find out what you need. Something you need might be different. Uh, I was doing hot saunas all the time. Those hot saunas were huge for me. Uh, I did occasional cold plunges for uh, repair of tissue and uh, and those would wake up my body too. I believe personally that the cold plunges and cold showers uh, were huge in, in helping to heal the body in various ways I don't even fully understand yet. I cleaned up my omega-3 to omega-6 balance, which uh, I ran blood tests for to make sure that that was cleaned up. And I also ran blood tests on my thyroid to make sure that was good, kept that checked out, worked with a doctor on that. And then the fourth thing that I did was I started lifting heavy things. I started learning to move in a way that would build more testosterone. Now, the bonuses. One is simple. 
I started to do intermittent fasting. Fasting can really help to boost testosterone and uh, can have a lot of healing purposes. Um, you can learn all kinds of stuff about intermittent fasting. That's mostly what I did. I did some multi-day fast, but mostly just intermittent fasting, 16, 18 hours, 20 hours. Um, there's great YouTube channels on it. There's great teachers on it and all the testosterone it builds. So that was huge for me. And then the other bonus that I want to talk about today uh, that really helped me to shift, I think personally, was I started doing a daily, and this is something a lot of people can talk about, fascial release program. I started getting out uh, different equipment and I'd go and I had a, a program, I'd go through the whole body and releasing this, the bound fascia to get more uh, liquid into the, the muscles, uh, uh, water into the muscles. You see, for example, the muscles get dehydrated uh, when the fascia is bound because the moisture, the water, whatever uh, you want to say, can't get into that part of the muscle. So when I started going through the body and every day doing a fascial release program, on the body, on each part of the body, I saw huge growth. I started to feel better. I started to feel more hydrated. I, I've realized that through years of inflammation and treating my body terrible, it was really bound up and I had a lot of alignment issues and that started to do uh, a, a lot of amazing stuff for me. The program I used was from Functional Patterns, his basic program. He has a three week program on cleaning up your fascial patterns. I get paid nothing for this. I don't even know the guy. Uh, somebody recommended it, so that was really powerful for me. Definitely check that out. And so uh, it was really, it's really simple. It takes about 45 minutes a day. Over three weeks, you can make a huge change. Now, if you understand energetic medicine, this is when I began to learn about this. This was big for me. This is the other part of the bonus, is that the water that goes into your body gets converted when it gets into the muscles and into the tissues is something called easy water. And it gets charged up through electrons from the earth. And, and basically, you're like a walking battery. And I realized I was tired all the time, not just because my thyroid was low, but because I wasn't receiving those electrons. After I started to release the fascia a lot, I started to get outside and stand on the ground, something called earthing every day. And I'd take in some sun uh, with no sunglasses on. I'd get it on the skin a little bit, just a little bit, take the earth, feel the earth. I feel my body literally relax within minutes. And that was really powerful for me. So if you wanna learn more about that, check out earthing. That's the next thing I did. So as the fascia got released, my body started to loosen up, started to open up. I started to get more hydration into the body. Then in a sense, I started to charge the battery. And so I started getting out there and standing in the sun on the earth in the morning sun, the afternoon sun, and in the evening. Because in the evening, there are, there are all these different UV rays in the sun and that's connected to the earth. And they tell your body to do different things. They tell your body to uh, wake up, to sleep, all kinds of stuff. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that started to make me feel so much better. But between the fascial releases, getting outside and earthing, all the nutrition, and everything all together. It took me a while to put all that together. My life began to change. This is something they call energy medicine, really understanding how your body pulls electrons to the earth through a book called Earthing, how you absorb energy from the sun a little bit each day, how good that can be for you, uh, especially when the fascia is not bound in your body. And to me, that is something that's not very well known that probably had one of the biggest impacts on me so far. I'm still growing from that today. Uh, there's a great Instagram out there for a woman. Uh, her Instagram is C-A-R-R-I-E-B, the letter B, wellness, Carrie B Wellness. Check out her Instagram. She talks all about energetic medicine. She'll break down the science of what all this stuff does when you're uh, earthing, when you're getting the water into the fascia and all that kind of stuff. And she does a little Instagram post. So definitely check her out and follow her stuff. And honestly, it's made a huge shift in my life. So uh, that's the bonuses. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, my testosterone is much higher now. Uh, last time I got checks, it was well up into the 700s and that was a while ago. And I'm sure it's much higher because I'm growing muscle like crazy. I have way more energy, I have way more turn on. I have a lot stronger sex drive. I have tons of more energy. It's got, gotten ridiculous. And this didn't happen overnight. It took time. It took time for the body to detox. It took time for the body to heal. But each one of these steps was essential and I feel shifting this area of my life. You see, we're meant to enjoy life, guys. We're meant to get out there and have fun. We're meant to get up in the morning and want to uh, slay the day, have a good time. So make sure that uh, you do that. Check out Mark Iron. Check out Carrie B. Wellness. Check out Functional Patterns. These were all people that helped me get my testosterone up, get my strength up, get me feeling better. So if you like this video, um, uh, definitely give me a thumbs up. Um, uh, put a comment in the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, make sure to hit that bell notification so you don't miss a beat. Uh, any of the videos we got coming because they're 
There's a lot coming. So, and by the way, if you want to work with Fearless, if you'd love to learn more about what we do, talk to somebody at our programs or learn more about the revealing process, definitely click the link in the video. We'll have a link in this video somewhere to help you uh, learn more about the revealing process masterclass and how you can use that to radically shift your mindset. Because in my opinion, that's the most important piece because if you don't have the right mindset with all the uh, stuff you have to do physically, you won't get over the hurdles. But if your mindset gets straightened out, then you can do all this stuff effortlessly and easily. Even if it's tough, that can start to become fun. It can start to become a fun challenge. So it starts with the mindset and the mindset alone can clean up so many hormones. And I believe that a lot of my hormones were cleaned up by me shifting my mindset. So definitely check the link out in this video and learn more about the revealing process masterclass. And now with that said, if you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, uh, make sure to hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. We're gonna have more videos. If you wanna learn more about this stuff, definitely uh, let us know, put a comment in the, uh, in the video. Maybe I can bring you more stuff on testosterone. Uh, definitely check out uh, my previous video with Mark Iron where I interviewed Mark Iron on all this and uh, learn more about what Mark Iron does. And with that said, remember, only the confident really live. Take care and have a beautiful day.